Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Look, we're home. <laughs> so we haven't vlogged since we got home because we want to catch up on the Montana vlog. So this is like the second day we're officially home. So it's been chill. We really didn't do anything yesterday. The only thing we did was go eat dinner because we need to go to the grocery store. So um, today we have a lot of stuff going on. We go back to school on Monday, so the 13th, and we're not done school shopping or anything. So that's what today's plan is, as we're going to go to the mall, go back to school shopping. Then we have to stop at Ellie's school, and we have to see what teacher she gets. And then it's like meet the teacher day, so it's like back to school day for her. But we're finally home. Ellie is still sleeping in. I've missed home so much, but I really do miss Montana a lot. Well, not Montana specifically, like the people and the friendships and like doing everything, like doing stuff every day and like having a plan and being on time and stuff. That's really what I miss. So it's kind of weird. Um, the weather is nice here, but who wants to say hi to the dog? Hi, Stitchy. They missed you. I know. Zozo. Hi. They've missed you. I don't think they understand that they have people that miss them <laughs> as much as we miss you. They were really excited to see us and I was excited to see them. <laughs> okay. So anyways, we're gonna get this day started. All right guys, good afternoon and welcome back. Emma already started the video. We are going to Chick-fil-A to get lunch because at four o'clock we have to uh, drive by the school and see who Ellie's teacher is. So I think we'll eat lunch, drive back home, feed the dogs, let them out, and then go to our school and then we're heading to the mall. Because there's no point to drive all the way to the mall when we gotta feed the dogs. So we're going into check flight to get some lunch and we will see you when we're done. We made it to the school. Everybody's lined up to go check the doors. Here, Emma. Everybody's lined up. Wow, it's a We're gonna go up. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. Alright, so we got done at Ellie's school and we are now at Countryside Mall. Yay. Ellie got Miss Rudolph. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, Reindeer. <laughs> and I asked Mika's mom if she was a nice teacher and she said yes, she's happy all the time. So, and then Mrs. Whitehouse, the one that Mika has, she said is a very strict teacher. So Ellie's actually lucky, even though she left crying and was all upset that she wasn't in Mika's class. Oh. All right, you ready to go shopping, Emma? Yeah, no. I have to return. I'm gonna get turn, a um, and I just killed a new. <laughs> I have to return a romper from Silly's, and then yeah, back to school shopping. Then I don't even get to wear to school. <laughs> no, but you can wear it for the day because you ain't wearing sweatpants and t-shirts. Why not? You're gonna wear normal clothes just like you would to school. That's not fair. I like to do my homework in PJ. No. Why not? You can get up and get ready to get motivated. And I registered Emma for her classes. I did switch one of her classes. Instead of doing Spanish, she is now doing driver's ed. Oh my god, why? Because you are you can take it at 14 and a half. <laughs> so you might as well get it done. So when do I get my current? 15. Just so we're clear, you'll never drive the Jeep. <laughs> Why can't I drive no. the Jeep? You, you have to take her on the Jeep to show no. her how to drive. Yeah, your we'll, car. We'll use your car. <laughs> no, I want to no. take this one. It's not happening. Uh, You're going to crash the Jeep. It's not happening. <laughs> your mom struggles to drive this. There ain't no way. <laughs> you wouldn't want to drive it. Uh, why can't I take Spanish? I don't, I don't speak Spanish. What You'll take Spanish next year. Driver's Ed. Imagine me driving. <laughs> so you're doing social media, which is half year, and Driver's Ed is half year. So when your half year is over, you have to pick two more classes. Hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars. Under the stars. All right, we're in American Eagle. Yep. She found a shirt so far. <laughs> I usually don't come to this. 
Mhm. Has a dilemma. I know. She I wants know. both pair of shoes. I didn't know. I said get both, but she no, can't decide. The white's too boring. Oh, uh, which one are you picking? Checkers. So the white's black. Yeah, but white goes with more. Then get the white. white then get both. White goes with stuff, and so does. Whoa! Black. What are these? Somehow, blue cut stuff. What? Oh, you can get those from Target. What? Which one? Purple, you have to pick. <laughs> okay, so I picked the white pair. So I'll probably come back a couple years, maybe. I don't really know and get the black and white ones. But I really wanted the white ones because, like, I've always wanted a pair. He's excited. I know. Look at these. These are so cute. Oh this my gosh. Cute. These are cute. These are cute. Those are so cute. Look at these. <laughs> we can buy shoes for Kingston. Kingston. Oh yeah, we did run into Karen, um, oh, Chloe, I'm and Kaz's parents. Oh, those those are soft. But and they said hi. Way. They're just shopping because our sister's at the so eyeglass hot. place. So yeah, I'm gonna. It's a donut shoe. <laughs> Where? Oh, that's so funny. Let me see it. <laughs> Donuts for the life. So we're gonna check out. All right, we're in Forever 21. What did you find so far? Emma. Ellie found a hat. Although it is long sleeve, it's getting cold soon, I guess. Okay, so we, our next store is JC Penney's, and this is where Ellie gets some of her clothes from. And so far, I think we found a couple of shirts and pants, but I'm kind of caught here, and I don't know how to fix this. Okay, there we go. It's an extra large. Is it a shirt or a dress? Well, I think it's in the clearance, so that's why there's not that many of them. If not, then you're gonna have a hard time finding the size. So anyways, Ellie is looking for some clothes for back to school. We all start Monday. <laughs> so obviously once we get home, we will be doing a haul and stuff, but- I guess we'll have you find your first day outfit at Justice, Bed. Justice? Oh yeah, I remember all of these. Unicorn leggings. Can I need a Somewhere, please. Unicorn leggings. Unicorn leggings. Mark, are you gonna get anything for back to school? No. No? No. There's some never what classes are you? Just some relief. Relief? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, just because you're older than all of us and already went to school doesn't mean you have to brag. 
We'll obviously do a haul once we get home, but we're gonna go in like Justice and other stores for Ellie because I think I'm done shopping. But I also want to check if I can get a new ear, pier, ear piercing thingy, like a ring. Not a ring, it's a hoop or something. Change it for school, although no one's gonna see it, but you know. Okay, next door is Children's Place. We had to return some shorts when we went to private school that did not fit me. But they literally have the cutest denim like color skirts. They're so cute. Corduroy. 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 And Ellie found this really cute red moon maroon high waist button up. Maroon, maroon button up skirt. So that's what she tried to try on with shorts. But it's so cute. I definitely like the brown one with the zipper. I think that's really cute. I like all of them. I'll try to explain where everything came from. I only went to three stores. 
and I got a lot of cute things. So first we'll start off with this outfit. So I was trying to pick outfits out, but <laughs> so I got this shirt, this like red, it's like an orange maroon color to go with this. This is like, what is it called? The, the corduroy skirt that I got and it's really cute. So I went, so I got these both from Pair 21. And then I got this, I call it ketchup mustard, or um, from American Eagle, it's tube top. Next thing I got is this like, it's like green, but also like kind of blue in a way. It looks blue and there's like white on it. I don't know, it's really weird. So this came from Tilly's, really cute. And then I got this sweater. So you all know that my mom has like this yellow sweater that I really like keep and didn't like try to take. So I got a pink one. This came from Forever 21. Then I got a pair of jeans. I have never had a ripped pair of jeans. Well, I actually have, but I just never had like a skinny pair of like just regular pair of jeans. So I got these ones. These came from American Eagle and they are ripped. And then I got this cute, um, oh my <laughs> overalls. Or, like a jumpsuit type thing. And this came from Tilly's and it's gray. So this is what I got from Tilly's. Every like great guys. So that is what I got. But also I did get much more for back to school and I'm doing a haul on my channel. So that's where the other clothes are from. And I did get shoes and stuff. So Ellie, did you like everything that you get? That you got? <laughs> did you get? Yeah, I did. I like everything. My favorite thing was the outfit. And FYI, you guys are all asking why Emma needs back to school clothes. Um, because we decided to homeschool, I didn't feel that it was fair. Uh, I just got clothes. Fair for her to not experience the back to school fun of shopping. <laughs> since a lot, every one of you telling the truth would say the best part about going back to school is the back to school shopping you get to do and to wear your new outfit. So. Anyways, I just wanted to say that that's why Emma is getting back to school clothes because just because she's homeschooling, I don't want her to not have the full back to school experience. And that's, that's my people, favorite part many too. Many YouTubers, girl YouTubers that do homeschool, I always see like them putting up back to school supplies and back to school clothing hauls. So everybody does it, honestly, if you're homeschooled or going to or not so it's not really a big difference because even if you're homeschooled you still need supplies anyway like you because you need like no but no but they're just saying clothes yeah but it's also i can wear those clothes out in public you know it's like the same thing public like going out in public is like school to you i guess because you're just home i'm basically wearing normal clothes anyway so i'm just shopping too like yeah this. ellie has no dress code at her school no. except for uh, no open toed shoes. And Ellie really didn't have any clothes because she's growing constantly. She literally skipped two clothes. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was an 8 to a 9 and now she's a 10 and 12. It's not crazy. as well. Yes, yeah, you're 12. 10. No, you're 12. And like her shoe size, like I was saying, she was a 6 of women's and bands, which is kind of crazy. And she was size like two and a half, three. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> eight months ago. She's growing really, really fast. So that, that is I why. She yeah. needs new clothes constantly, constantly because her shorts don't fit her, her jeans don't fit her, her leggings are always ripped, her shoes get dirty so fast. Right. So me and I want to say thank you to our parents for letting us go shopping. Welcome. Thanks. Guys, it's our first night ending the video in my bed, in my room. Hi. <laughs> it's definitely weird. I'm usually like ending it with the family but like the whole family's in bed and stuff so it's kind of weird anyways today we do a lot of back to school shopping tomorrow we just have to go to the store to exchange not to get like this pen thing you know like the ink pens where they had to like click it and it like comes off and then we have to go to justice to get like this free back to school stuff that they ran out the ran out of the school supplies i guess i don't know so tomorrow is definitely more of running around but today was really fun i it's definitely different from Montana, but anyways. Ellie gets her braces off the 21st, the 19th, I think it's the 19th. So that's in like a couple of days, I believe. Yeah, braces come off, then she gets a retainer. Um, I am on my last set of Invisalign things for this box, and then I think I have 10 more, and then I'm done, like, 
completely done with braces and fun things like my teeth look good <laughs> and then we start school Monday <laughs> and then I believe all tomorrow is meet your teacher day yeah I think that's tomorrow so but it's the weekend and it's our last weekend before school starts so and then I also printed my one of the Montana pictures so I'm gonna probably like put it up there like you know whatever so anyways guys i just hope you guys have a great night and if some of you guys are back in school i apologize for that and i hope you have a good school school i hope you have a great time at school all right guys we have something very special coming up if you've been paying attention we're pretty close to a million subscribers oh my god it's been about three years i think two years i really don't know it's been a long time not a long actually it's not been a long time it's only been a couple of years and we're so close to hit a million like it's beyond crazy and i can't wait to celebrate it the family can't wait to celebrate it so we just want to say thank you in advance we'll obviously do a spell celebration because that's huge a million is a milestone guys it's a lot of work just saying so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and today's question of the day is where do you like to go back to school shopping at like like mall target specific stores anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and bye dreams aren't meant to be broken